Good evening and welcome to Compline on this Tuesday evening. Tonight I would like to dedicate this service to a little cat called Jax Gruntzel who went over the Rainbow Bridge this morning. May he rest in peace and rise in glory. Let's just take a moment as we begin. I will lie down and sleep in peace, for you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. O God and Spirit and Jesus the three, from the crown of my head, O Trinity, to the soles of my feet, mine offering be. Come I unto thee, O Jesus, my King. O Jesus, do thou be my sheltering. My dear ones, O God, bless thou and keep in every place where they are. Whoever has chosen to make the shelter of the Most High their dwelling place will stay in his overshadowing. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God and I am trusting him. He will rescue you from the traps laid for your feet and save you from the destroying curse. His faithful promises are your armour. You need no longer be afraid of any terror by night or death arrow that flies by day. The Lord himself is your refuge. You have made the Most High your stronghold. Be my rock, a castle to keep me safe, for you are my crag and my stronghold. How precious to me your thoughts, O God, how vast is the sum of them. Were I to count them, I would outnumber the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. I will not lie down tonight with sin, nor shall sin nor sin's shadow lie down with me. O God of life this night, O darken not to me thy light. O God of life this night, close not thy gladness to my sight. O God of life this night, thy door to me, O shut not tight. O God of life this night. Tonight we are looking at remembering what was. Deuteronomy 7, verses eight, verse 18 and chapter 8, verse 2. Remember what the Lord your God did. Remember what the Lord your God... Let me say that again. Remember what the Lord your God did. Remember the way the Lord your God has led you. Something from Nick Fawcett to ponder this evening. Of all the months of the year, November seems to be a time for remembering. First there comes All Saints Day, followed by All Souls. Occasions that remind us of those who have gone before us in faith. Then there is Guy Fawkes Night, not, of course, a Christian festival, but part of British folklore reminding us of the long distant plot against Parliament that reflected the religious tensions of the time. Next there comes Remembrance Day, as we recall the sacrifice of so many in, world, in the two world wars and the wars after that. So much to remember, so much to learn from, so much that calls us to build for the future in the light of the past. The people of Israel remembering was an integral part of their faith. The story of how God had delivered them from Egypt and led them safely through the wilderness to the promised land, repeated by parents year after year to their children and children's children. The memory of God's goodness and guidance across the years sustained, enriched and encouraged their faith. For the Christian too, remembering has a special place. Do this in remembrance of me, said Jesus, 1 Corinthians 11, verse 24. That's for our communion service. Such words remind us that our faith is not based on wishful thinking or idle speculation, nor on some clever deception or well-intentioned philosophy, but is rather rooted in history, in what God has done, 
make time then to remember, not just today or on those days given over to remembering, but every day. So ask yourself this evening, do you forget sometimes how much God has done for you? Do you make time through prayer and through the reading of God's word to remember his faithfulness across the ages? Let's pray. Almighty God, teach me to remember all you have done and to give you the praise you deserve. Teach me each day to recall your creative acts, your mighty deeds throughout history and your faithful dealings with your people across the years. Above all, teach me to remember your graciousness in Jesus Christ, your coming, living, dying and rising among us so that we might have life in all its fullness. For the memory of such things and the constant reminder of them, I pray for each day. I give you my thanks and prayers through Jesus Christ, my Lord. Amen. Be it on mine own beloved arm, O God of grace, that I in peace shall waken. Jesus, son of Mary, my helper, my encircler. Jesus, son of David, my strength everlasting. Jesus, son of Mary, my helper, my encircler. The peace of all peace be mine this night. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining me this evening. Please remember as you pray for others, you need to pray for yourself. As you help others, remember to help yourself. We also pray for America today, that they make the right decision for their country. And remember, how big is God? Bigger than you think. Good night and God bless you.